Hey collectors, Anthony from Hashers here today we're taking a look at Transformers the movie 86 Springer. He's of course the leader class from the studio series line. And uh, what you see is what you get. It's an updated Springer. Uh, they originally released a Springer during Siege with a, I don't want to say a darker color and some battle damage. This is more movie accurate, but it's more or less the same mold with, with a couple of important changes at least I think. But before we begin, uh, first off, uh, it came with instructions and don't hurt yourself paper, so remember, don't hurt yourself. And um, it also came with a bunch of packing items. He was weighed and he's only about a half an ounce heavier than the Siege Voyager. So, relatively speaking, he is still technically a Voyager, but he has all of these extra accessories. I do not know what the weight difference is for them, but um, supposedly, you know, maybe there's a difference. I mean, because these, these guns came with the original one and of course he had a helicopter blade so then in essence we have a plus four on additional accessories anyway um let's go ahead and put this stuff aside here and take a look at the box uh so he is a triple changer so he has that three in one advertising on the front here is him the the um backdrop is actually the same one as number of the dino bots uh swoop has it uh i wish they could have picked something else this is getting kind of boring, but whatever. It is not my problem. So, um, here he is in the front in bot mode. In bot mode again. And then, of course, here is the vehicle mode. Again, backdrop. Uh, so, here's what we currently have. Here's what we're going to have. And eventually, what we're also going to have. Uh, you'll notice that it looks pretty close to the same. New grill, though. Better coloring. Uh, new pieces on the helicopter blade area. Uh, will it be any better? Who knows? But that is pretty much it for the box. And the figure is, uh, oh, I don't know how to explain it. The legs are legit just taken from the previous uh, mold. And I think because of the new weight, it really isn't made to support it too much. Um, I, I don't know. Because you'll see, it, it's, it, he is just, mm, I don't know. I mean, I kind of do know. He's just, ugh. Uh, I, I, I sold my Siege Springer, so there's no going back at this point. Uh, I, I like the way he looks better, but just um, the trade-offs, I guess, are maybe... I feel like I didn't plus on this one. But uh, let's just take a look at his uh, his uh, accessories. I'll just detach these off from him so we can take that look. And um, stick him back here. So, first off is the sword. Uh, this is the one he was fighting Rekkar. That's right. Uh, so, yeah, that's it's decent enough. That missile he was loading with RC into the rocket launchers... Uh, for Metroplex, okay. Uh, a hammer, just because he's a wrecker. Uh, technically, uh, I guess this could go with the original bulkhead. Because I don't think Springer had a hammer, per se. So these are the same guns from the Siege one. They do connect to form a rifle. So, you know, that's nifty. We'll keep them aside there. Uh, here is the rifle he was seen with in the movie. So, very nice. It has a peg in, in addition to the... the port so he can connect somewhere holster it i guess and then here is the sword helicopter blade i feel like they could have just left this be a helicopter blade um i mean it, it it's fine it's just like you can oh hold on if i can hold it without cutting myself not that it's going to cut me but it, it does a decent job of spinning uh you can also like adjust these to do this if you want um it doesn't really change anything it keeps i mean it's still balanced enough to spin so that's really all that matters uh, but uh, otherwise, uh, once that becomes the hilt for him to hold. So, you know, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, taking a look at him. Uh, you look pretty good. Uh, he got the new shoulders going on. He got the new tire arrangement. Um, there is a feature in his arm that uh, requires taking his arm basically apart to show you a little pistol. I'm, it, to me, it's not really worth the, um, the effort. But... Uh, I mean, maybe to somebody it is, but I mean, here it is. Uh, so, I mean, like, whatever. I'm never going to use it, so it's, you know, not worth much to me. Hands do open, which is nice. Uh, but, yeah, here's what he looks like. Again, same legs. Come back around. And I guess I kind of get it. Uh, you, you still need that functionality. Why, why uh, design the whole thing? Again, this is really tight. Um, technically, it needs to be flat for the helicopter mode. And it should be flat for the backpack. But then it should be kind of up for the car mode. Uh, 
So, you know, I, a couple of the foibles I had with conversion, uh, particularly with the head, have been alleviated because it changed the way his head converts, which is just, yes. Uh, first up, I guess, should be to this, just do that. Just disconnect this piece here. Um, and by the way, it, um, it really just rests in here. It, it doesn't, there's not really any friction holding. It's kind of like, hopefully there's enough friction in the joints to keep it there. It's whatever. Um, let's see. Can I, yeah, just straighten these up. And then, let's see, pull these out and this out. And I should more or less be able just to position the arms. But I think that is something I'll have to wait to do after I get everything else done here. Because you know, oh, wow. Okay, that, I didn't, I mean, there's a little bit of a clearance issue, but I didn't expect it to just fall into place like that. Okay. Oh, because it's on a, it's on a, okay, so, let's see if I can get it to, there we go. It's on a peg. Come on, get in there. Okay, so, I'm already good with that. Okay, see, if I pull the shoulder, okay, the shoulders come out. Uh, there, oh, nice, nice pay. Oh, okay, they fixed the piece in here, because in before it relied on maybe lock to get it to stay in, but, okay, I'm okay with that, that I haven't converted this guy before. Let's put the head forward. There we go. Again, already a plus right there. There we go. Oh, man, that was tight. But you can see how it was attached, just uh, tabbed into here. Okay. Now, on the other, the other mode or form, uh, these folded into themselves and I think it's the head is backwards maybe the head is supposed to 180 yep and then push in okay and then do that and oh yep it really does matter if the head is 180 so if you were wondering now your answer has been given you now know you need to do 180 so anyway we're continuing back on the car track so everything else should be generally the same uh, let's see make sure all this is plugged in Okay, so we noticed there's a, I don't know if these are new or what, but um, joints on the lower body to get into the vehicle, are they not cooperating? Is something in the way? Oh, 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 wow, okay, it kind of just slides in, oh, that that is fantastic, okay, so, like trying to remember <laughs> which is the car for um, so, if I remember correctly, there should be, yeah, so there's peg slats up here for the connection. And uh, it should be after this point, because the tires need to be free still. And, uh, actually, you know what, before we do that, let's uh, take care of the back end first. Um, so if I remember correctly, we want the tires to oh come on oh, there we go want this to flip over like this there we go flip over like this and then these are going to go in here like this and I feel like I'm supposed to pull out the fins and they are somewhere Right here, okay. Fin. And then... Move the arm out of the way. Fin. And then we can attach the legs. Same, same, same way as before. Make sure these are in the right place. Over, not under. There we go. Okay, so far so good. And let's see. So there are a tab and a slot in the arm here. I don't know how I can see it, but uh, it needs to be straight. There we go. Is it being weird? Come on. Because you can tell that the shoulder is supposed to kind of get out of the way. 
for the arm to attach and it does this but that is definitely not the look you want okay after a little work I uh, figured out what the problem was so you know I had to keep straightening out that uh, little piece under here uh, the problem wasn't that piece the problem was that the little armature on here that has to slide in wasn't clipping in. Uh, so I had to like basically put my finger in or thumb in and push it into place to get it to latch. Which means that the tolerances are really too tight. But essentially you end up getting the car form here. Um, my other problem is, and this is a problem I have on the original Siege one, was that by connecting this together I end up with this type of situation here which tells me that maybe it's me because it cannot be a coincidence that I have two vehicles that I can't put together correctly. Then again, the record version of Springer I'm fine with. So I'm doing something wrong on this version. Or maybe this isn't supposed to lock in all the way. It's supposed to sit here. But I mean, a couple of the problems I'm having is... Okay, so this is all locked in, right? Uh, these keep popping out because it looks like it's slightly off. And you can see that gap there isn't even. So I'm kind of like, huh. And... Um, so, you know, so ignoring that for right now, things you can do is you can, uh, of course, reattach this and just have it sitting there. Uh, you can have the pistols uh, mounted in these ports here, although at this point, not quite sure why. Oh, wow, that is super loose. Um, and they don't drag on the floor, though, so hey, that's great. The pieces are in the going to stay in space. The wheels just aren't liking... Like, there is, like, very little clearance here, so it's not liking that. Um, so I'm not quite sure. It's probably a me issue, and that's fine. Uh, usually it is. Uh, but uh, generally, that's kind of where we are here. And as you can see, it, it popped out on the other side here. And uh, we just turned this back into place. And, uh, you know, but uh, essentially this is what you get, you know, more or less. Obviously, this should be kind of, like, down like this. So we can roll. It's just this that isn't mounting in the right place. But something to worry about later. Uh, so conversion to helicopter mode. Let's take apart this whole array here. And uh, pull out the feet. And uh, separate this part here. Which might be easier to do from the bottom. There you go. Try not to mess up the wings. Uh, we are going to unfold them come on there we go and uh, if I remember correctly yeah so there are these joints here that you have to kind of break I guess there we go because they'll attach together in a moment try not to detach this right thing come on there we go attach this Flip to the other side. Like this. Like this. A bunch of tabs you can match up. These together. Let's detach the arm. Well, actually we can do this with the arms right now because we are going to have to reposition them. I'm going to move. If I can remember which way to do this. Move these like this and they're going to complete the thighs here hold on I'm gonna put these the right way there you go make sure these are like this make sure that these end up under this piece here and they should latch in under here. I think they latch in on the leg. Yeah, there they go. There we go. And you see the complete this area here. And then we'll hold that for a sec. They technically mount in here, but we want to adjust the arms. Uh, the arms need to come back some. So. Kind of like that. And while we're working on that, we'll unfold this. Come on. Pull that out. Turn it 180. Reattach this. 
repeat on the other side. Pull it out, turn it 180, reattach. It's like, this is a little tab piece here, but I don't see anything that, that really holds it in. Anyway, and then we can do that, do that, and then there is this tab here that should, so there's a tab here, tabs into the arm, there we go, tab into arm, and then we should be able to tab this ugh, back into here, but it's not going to let me. But then, uh, let's move these down. There we go. Because otherwise they won't clear the blades. It's going to be a jerk about it. So I, obviously something is off, and it's probably me. But uh, otherwise, here's what we get. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. Uh, so here's what we get in the helicopter mode. Oh, the pretend I did better. <laughs> it's, it's not the best uh, job. I obviously have to figure out what I'm missing, but uh, it's generally more or less it. So yeah, that's decent enough. Um, there's like not a lot of places to just generally mount these things. Obviously, I can put the guns back on. Uh, I'm kind of wondering. Hold on. Nope. Like me, hey, met that in here. Uh, guns back on like various ports, I guess. That actually is kind of cool though. I'm, I'm not hating that. Uh, let's see what else. Cause you could put them up here probably. Um, this is just uh, the extra accessories that they introduce for the Studio Series version just doesn't. I mean, I don't know. Very little planning for them, I guess. But. Uh, I mean, otherwise it's fine, but uh, yeah, that's Springer for Studio Series 86. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.